Hello everyone, Spectre here, back in with another MCOC video. And uh, yeah, today, Kree's Challenges just dropped. You can probably hear it in my voice, I'm a little disappointed, I'm not super enthusiastic, you know. I just got out of class, today's Thursday, and I don't have any class Friday, so the, the plan was that I was going to do, spend all weekend doing these challenges, and then I'll get the 7 star Sark Spidey. Looking at these challenges now, that you, that 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 just won't happen. Oh wait, I'm not even looking at the, the challenges. Hold on, let me let me scroll down a bit. But yeah, I'm not even looking at. Uh, I'm not even you know. I, I don't even want to attempt most of these, like the fintech ones, grief incarnate. What the fuck? That's that that's flex content. Like look, hold on, this is grief incarnate. I I, re I already have it ready. This is Grief Incarnate. As soon as it's done loading. It's all the Attorney of Pain bosses in a row. And you, if you know these bosses, you know that they are pain in the asses. And, you know, they're some of the hardest defenders with some of the stupidest notes. And, you know, they're designed to be, you know, you have to fight them with specific champions. Which is fine. It's fine. I, I, you know, I'm not saying uh, they, they can't do that. But if you look at the rewards... This is flex content. This is content that's not rewarding at all. It's simply so you can just flex this profile picture to show that you've did, that you've done it, whether it, that you have done it, whether it be because of your skill or because of your stash or wallet. And I'm not saying that things like this shouldn't exist in the game, but now if you're going to implement, you know, a challenge like this. Like, uh, like, like, like these, where it's like, do Grief Incarnate with specific champions, and you have to do it one and a half times, because the other, you know, the other one is just get up to the Dragon Man with Mojo, which is halfway through. So you're going to have to do that one and a half times to get your hands on a, an exclusive seven star, which no, no offense, Stark Spidey, he is not even the best champion in the game. He's not top 10 best in the game. He's not top, top 5 in his own class. But he's a fun, engaging character that everyone loves. And to lock that... And I'm going to say lock it behind, you know... I wouldn't even say difficult content, but absolute bullshit is, is insane to me. And there does seem to be this... Di you know, there, there is just feels like this disconnect between the the content creators and the the community and i guess before i go on you know since i'm talking about the content creators obviously don't go and harass them and threaten them and insult them that shit's not cool you know I, i'm never you know if you if you if you um are one of those people's doing that then go fuck yourself you know fuck you you're a piece of shit don't, don't be harassing and threatening and all that kind of stuff. It's not good for anybody. It's not good for the content creators. They are people just they, they are people just like us who were instructed to make this difficult content. Do I think maybe what they thought was reasonably difficult or just difficult in general went a little too far here? Abso abso fucking lootly. But does it warrant death threats and just basic harassment and you know insults and you know threats of any kind hell no hell to the fucking no that is never okay so once again anyone who does that go fuck yourself i have no problem saying that go and fuck yourself fuck you fuck yourself harder than i don't fucking know i i, I, I i'm little, this is a little bit of an unfiltered rant as you can probably tell but yeah, just go fuck yourself if you're one of those people. You know, I personally, I'm still subscribed to all three of these content creators. I still enjoy. I'm still. I still. I'm still gonna enjoy watching them. I'm still gonna tune in to their you know videos and live streams and peer and chat and give them give their videos some like you know hit that like button. You know, I don't hate any of these guys. You know, I don't dis. I don't even dislike any of them. You know. Like I, I still like all these guys. I, 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 again, I'm my my 
I guess, uh, you know, I'm trying to say is like, you know, my opinion on them hasn't really hasn't really changed. I still I'm still going to enjoy them. I'm still going to look forward to, you know, new videos and guides and, you know, other fun stuff and openings. But I do think their, you know, criticism is warranted if it's valid, actual constructive criticism. Like looking at these challenges, you know, there, there does seem to be a level di of disconnect that can be criticized. Like, I don't think it's reasonable to expect people to do Grief Incarnate. Because again, that is flex content. And so, if you want to criticize, you know, Fintech and Mike on that, and I'm, I'm specifying Fintech and Mike because, you know, there seems to be universal praise for Legacy because, you know, I... I, I even I'd say he has the easiest uh, challenges, but even then, they're still. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. They're still difficult. Like, uh, you know, do these do these quests with only a single five star, no synergies. That that's that that that's pretty difficult. But what what's fun about Legacy's challenges is it's an engaging character that is pretty much universally loved in the community, and you're going against fun boss fights that are really engaging and that I personally love. And they're just like the flow of the, the boss fights is really, really fun and interesting. And again, it's with a character that everyone loves and it's fun and engaging. But now, you know, I'm not, you know, hating on, you know, Baron Zemo and Mike's, uh, you know, how he, his favorite is Baron Zemo, but I feel like there's just this, this ex high expectation, unrealistic expectation that the community is, you know, I guess, you know, skilled enough to, to do this. There's just, it feels too unrealistic. It feels like an unrealistic expect, expectation. And I think that's really my, one of my biggest problems with, with this is it, feel, it feels like there's just too much of an unrealistic expectation for these challenges. Like they're not, they're not hard challenges they're just hard and BS pieces of content to do in order to get your hands on Stark's, on the seven star Stark Spidey or seven star Massacre or Massacre or, oh, wow, my phone's getting low. Or Spider-Man 2099, but again, I'm, preface, I'm, I'm really prefacing Stark Spidey because he is really the fan favorite champion that everyone loves and has like the biggest fan base in all of MCOC. Like he's infamous as being like, you know, the summoner's favorite champion and now i just feel like he he's locked away as the highest rarity and i'll never get my hands on him now because of how you know i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna say i'm gonna be i'm gonna be honest how fucking stupid and bullshit these objectives are like do all of gauntlet with the zemo that you know the avengers one that one is fine I, you know, I'll say it. The Avengers one is fine. You have the tool, all the tools there to to do it fairly. Like each boss, you will have a counter with that team of Avengers. But with Baron Zemo, it feels like you're just going to be in, in unfavorable unfavorable matchup after unfavorable matchup after unfavorable favorable matchups. And these fights aren't easy. They have so many nodes that, you know make make the already annoying defender even annoying like even more annoying and then then grief incarnate is just that but times 10 on steroids and it's with the and it's with champions that you know is regarded as one of the hardest champions to play like with with tigra she is one of the hardest cha champions to play and so that one really feels like just uh okay yep spend your spend your units spend spend your uh spend your wallet spend spend your stash and it's like we already have winter of woe coming up people are still trying to do necropolis and it's just it's just unrealistic that people are going to be you know a majority of the community is going to be like doing all of this and i hate i hate the 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 argument oh well you don't have to do it if it's not your cup of tea don't do it it's like yeah i mean i i mean i guess i understand what they're saying but at the same time it's like i i don't think that's a valid 
argument because it's like you're you're locking you're lock you're locking a like seven star version of like fan favorite characters behind the, this like bullshit fiesta and so it just doesn't seem fun it doesn't seem i don't know it doesn't feel rewarding enough it do, again it doesn't seem fun enough and I, I hate i hate that argument because it's like it just feels very egotistical to be like oh well just don't do it then you know i, I i'm having fun with it i did it in only like you know x many revives it's like well yeah not everyone is you who can has the you know the skill to not have to spend that much when there's already so much going on in the game it's like i i i want the stark spidey I made up my mind earlier uh, before I, I knew what these challenges were that like, okay, I'm going to choose Stark Spidey. I love Stark Spidey. He's one of my favorite champs in the game. So then then seeing all this is like, oh, oh I just feel unmotivated to do, do everything. And I'm just not feeling good. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely, you know, disappointed to say the least. And just, I'm sorry, but just those thin even if like let's say cry mike's objectives were tip of the iceberg that would have been fine like the hardest you know the hardest of the six but like grief incarnate dude what the fuck were you thinking that 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 oh that is just horrible horrible idea i'm, I'm sorry but that is just again my, my biggest gripe is it's supposed to be flex content like now, now it feels like you have to do it. And, again, it's like, oh, well, you don't have to do it. It's like, well, if, if I want to fucking start Spider-Man as, as the highest rarity in the game, yes, I have to do it. It's like, oh, well, just, you, you know, uh, I guess uh, just don't get Stark Spider-Man again. It's like, but I fucking want to, okay? If I'm going to be spending, like, you know, it's, it's either I spend hundreds of revives in the Cropless trying to get Valiant, you know, for progression... Or I spend hundreds of, of revives do, uh, trying to get some fun. And then because I, I have to spend so much on the fun, suddenly the fun isn't fun. You know what I'm saying? You, you, I mean, it's in the title of the video. Progression or fun. And it just feels like this game is going into down a lane where it, it's more geared towards doing stuff for progression rather than doing stuff for like towards your fun and enjoyment. And, I don't know, if this is where it's, he like, the game's heading, I, I don't know how much longer I'm, I'm going to be playing the game. Because, I don't mind, I don't mind, you know, planning for, planning for months for a Necropolis run. And I don't mind Winter of Woe. You know, say what you want about the Absorbing Man. It, it's a hard fight, but it's a... I would say it's it's a challenging fight. It's not just a difficult fight. Where I, whereas I would say a lot of these greenish challenges are they're not challenges. They're just hard objectives, which is a huge difference that uh, that I feel like needs to be you know talked about. It's like what is a challenge versus what is just hard. The robot objective was just hard. The gamma one was a the gamma objective with a was a challenge. And overall, the absorbing fight is a challenge. Like, it, it, it's hard, but it, it's it's a hard challenge. It's not just hard. And, again, a lot of these, a lot of these objectives, they're just hard. They're, they're not fun. They're, they're BS. And it's just unmotivating. It, it's very unmotivated, unmotivating if everything is just like, okay, it's just really hard. It's not challenge it's not fun and challenging it's just difficult it's unmoved it's getting to be really unmotivated where it's like every new piece of content is aimed at end game players and it's like well if you're not you know this is for end game players it's supposed to be hard it's like well that's it seems like that's fucking everything at this point it's like well what about people like me where it's like yeah i i mean i wouldn't say i'm a, i'm a noob but i'm not an end game player like i you know there doesn't seem to be a lot of stuff geared towards people who are in the middle. And again, I 
I'm just starting to feel very unmotivated because it seems like there's all these end game pieces of content in the game now. And it's like, well, I don't feel like there's anything for me. There's nothing that's challenging and, and fun, but also hard. It, everything is just seems to be hard. And <sighs> one thing I also want to talk about, before, you know, to finish this off is a lot of these challenges, you know, you're able to use six stars and seven stars. And that may sound fun, or that might might sound good, but it's just like, but then you look at the things you have to use them in. It's like, okay, now I have to, sp I have to spend my resources, like the highest tier resources, just to do this one challenge. Whereas like the the legacy one, it's like, yeah, I can I can rank up a five, I can rank up any five star, and it doesn't cost and it doesn't hurt my progression that much. You know, I could take out my Stark Spider Man and do the challenge and it doesn't really cost me that much whereas like for the crying mike ones and the fintech ones i feel like i have to get each character to rank four at the minimum and that would require so many tier three alphas and tier six basics that i that will put me back so much and especially once i have since i have to save my resources for winter of woe and you know objective and potential like potential objectives it's it feels like i'm just with everything that's coming out it's like force it forces me to uh you know to wait and you know for objectives to see who i need to rank up or force me to rank up characters that could potentially set me back and i want to i want to do this stuff i i want to do these challenges i want to do this end game content but it, it does it doesn't feel as rewarding to do it because once I get my reward, it's like the path getting there. It's like I, I spent so much. It's like, what was it worth it? And that's the question. It is is all this stuff worth it? I don't know. But one thing I could tell you is like there there you know regarding these Korean challenges, it feels like there is a huge disconnect from you know. The content creators in the community the you know i don't know if they they um expect too much of us or you know they created this content for their peer like for other peers like okay well you know i can do this no problem because i'm like this i'm one of the most skilled players in the game you know i only need to spend like okay my phone died but i I'm, i mean I'm, I'm getting towards the end of my rant anyway um but but essentially it's like oh well you know I'm able to do this with, you know, less than 10 revives, you know, I can do it. It's like, well, that's not really realistic for a lot of people. And to be like, well, just get better, lol. It's like, that's also, you know, again, people, people, people's lives don't revolve around this game. And it's easy to say that when it's like, you have the biggest stash, like one of the biggest stashes ever, you have all the units ever. You have, all, you, you know, you're able to, you know, buy, like, Odin's. Um, and it's, it's just like, well, yeah, of course you'll be able to do this. You have everything in the, in the fucking... You have all the champions of the game. You have all the revives you could possibly need. You have all the units you could possibly need. It's like, we're, 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 you know, what about people who are more casual? They don't have all that stuff. And it's just like, oh, just don't do it. It's like, Again, it's it's like, well, but I want the the seven star shark starts away, and you know, it's, it's like, am I supposed to just go fuck myself? It's it's just it's just it, 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 it's just tough. I'm I'm just very disappointed. I'm very unmotivated to do really a lot of things, and uh, I mean, I'm, I'm probably gonna still do the legacy challenges because I you know I, I have a about i have like a thousand over a thousand units saved up i I'm, i reckon i can do at least one of the challenges and uh you know the, you know the rewards are are pretty good you get a nice amount of seven star shards you know you get some six star champion selectors for the for the challenges that that i mean that's nice but it's just rewards that will be outdated i'm sure within the year or by next year and the, I guess the only thing that will keep players, you know, be like, or keep the players' interest in growing these challenges is the exclusive seven-star champions. And it, still, it's just going to be like, 
you have to do this bu- you have to do a lot of bullshit to get there and it's like well was was it worth it did i do i want star spy this much or spy 299 or masakre as the highest star level do i want them that much and was it worth it maybe not maybe not yeah and one last thing before i uh end this off i, I just want to pre- i just want to like say something that you know just really stuck with me the challenges themselves even if they weren't hard and bullshit they're just boring like the these are supposed to be challenges created by content creators you know who and you know they've they've pretty much done like everything there's to do in the game you think that like, no offense you think they would have created things that are more fun like I, I, again, I think Legacies are fun because it's it's an engaging champion, and you're doing engaging and you're like going against engaging bosses, and there's like a lot of theory crafting around like what paths to choose for each of the quests. But aside from that, the format of the other two, or you know, I, I'll give a you know I'll give a little little shade to to Legacy there, <laughs> but I'm. But again, it's it's very very minimal. But in in terms of these challenges, it just seems like okay, do this piece of content twice, but only you're only using these champions or this champion. You know, with Legacy, it's like okay, you just you're just defeating the two Kang bosses. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, they're fun again. They're fun bosses. You know, I guess he gets the pass because again, it's fun and engaging. Whereas. The other, t- you know, the other four objectives, it's like, okay, just do Gauntlet twice, but with different champions. Okay, just do the Grief Incarnate one and a half times. You know, do it, do it once and then get up to the Dragon Man. It, it, it just, I don't know. It, this isn't even like in term, like I'm not even talking about the difficulty. I'm just talking about the challenges themselves. It just feels very uninspired. Like, you... Sure, sure, the champions you use are very, you know, I guess on brand to the, the content creators, but the challenges themselves, or the, the objectives themselves, again, I don't even want to call these challenges because, you know, they're kind of just bullshit, but the, the objectives themselves just feel very lackluster, and it does it's like, what is the correlation here? You know, why... Are, why do you want us to do or why did you think oh uh, let's do this quest with my favorite champions it's like I don't know I it was I don't know it just it just feels off and boring to me you know it, again it is just e- each of these challenges even like these falls in that same you know criteria of like yeah just do this twice but with you know just just do this twice and then Legacy, I mean, it's like, do, do, this, do the thing twice, but with the, the same champion. But at least with his, it's like, it's two different fun bosses. And it's not just, okay, do Gauntlet twice, you know. You have a, it's basically the, the same boss rush with very annoying bosses that really aren't that engaging. And the nodes there are meant to, I guess, kind of, they're meant to mitigate counters and make them more annoying. So it's, I wouldn't say they're, they're engaging at all and so that's really my my biggest my biggest thing with this or I, I keep saying that a lot there's a lot of my biggest thing but this is one of my biggest things i'd say again it's just boring Un, uninspired as well and i feel like i'm just gonna end up repeating myself but i'm pretty sure i got my thoughts out i'm i'm just disappointed to say the least and yeah it's just just un, i feel like it's unrealistic standards yeah that that's where i'm gonna end it so uh, yeah if you enjoyed my rant you know let me know your thoughts in the comments be civil of course if you disagree with me disagree but again be civil and uh don't send hate to any of the content creators that you know were involved in this you know they are people and uh again i said i said it towards the beginning fuck you if you do any of that uh mean like like retarded ass shit like threats and and that kind of stuff like go go fuck yourself once again and uh yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe i'm gonna be skipping out on uh this content goodbye